How did we go from just starting a business about eight years ago, zero dollars, to making almost four million dollars in organic sales on social media? And I'm gonna walk you through my personal journey and give you a little bit of a stage by stage. What did I need to learn skill set wise and implement and focus on in each stage to get there? So when I was making zero money, the first thing everyone needs is a solid offer a solid ideal client, and a solid way to get them as clients, okay? So that's where you need to start. You need to know who am I helping and how am I helping them? You need to start there. I've actually talked with a lot of online coaches who don't have offers or ideal clients that are actually going to build a profitable business and would actually buy from you. Your offers and your ideal clients need to be both set up in a profitable manner where they'll actually pay you for what you're offering and it's going to be profitable for you. So that's where you need to start, okay? You've got to have the business foundation first. Now, Included in that is understanding how do you start to sell it. Every new entrepreneur needs to learn how to market and sell their services, okay? So this is just basic sales skill set, okay? Must learn these skills. A lot of people are basically a little bit scared or maybe they don't want to be pushing sales, so they don't learn sales. And they don't want to be like pushing marketing, so they don't learn marketing. But the truth is business is built on great marketing and great sales. So you have to learn them. There's no way around it, okay? People who say, oh, you can do it without marketing, without sales, they don't have great businesses and they don't have long-term businesses. So you need to learn how to sell your services. Now, the great thing about the coaching space and about the online service space is that you're not just selling something to someone that they don't need or want. They want it, they need it, and you're providing help and value to them in exchange for money. So it's a great place to be. So you need to learn how to make your offer irresistible, you need to learn how to get your content out there, and you need to learn how to get your sales set up in such a way that it actually converts into buyers. I always say the first one's the hardest. Going from zero to your first online client, that's the hardest. Once you've learned how to do that once and you've got that transaction, the rest become easier. So with that system, you can get yourself to a full-time income. Having a great offer, understanding who you're selling to, marketing and sales, you're gonna get to a full-time income, okay? Now, to build your business to sales is going to require more and different pieces from you, okay? You're gonna have to increase lots of times your price point, the amount of time and effort you're spending on stuff, and also increase your reach. Because a lot of you can create a full-time income kind of networks, referrals, word of mouth, but to get to six figures and beyond, you're gonna to need to have bigger traction channels. So this introduces the skill set of audience growth. How do you grow your audience? And it's actually similar in some ways to sales, because in sales, you're trying to sell them on buying your service. With audience growth, you're selling them on following you, on becoming part of your community. And so this is where you have to get really good at showcasing why should they follow you? What's in it for them? Stop thinking about yourself. Think about what is in it for them if they follow me. What do they get? Why would they want to follow you? You have to have a community, a social media platform, a whole system set up so that they want what you have on your social media, okay? So that's how you start to get audience growth. And this is going to lead to sustainability and the ability to get yourself up to six figures. Now, here's the thing. Every new level in business has its own devil, okay? Always new and different things you have to work on. To go from, let's say, six figures to get your multiple six figures, there's usually a couple different things that you need to start to think about. Number one, most entrepreneurs need to hire a great admin VA, okay? You need to get someone to help you with some of the tasks in your business that are repeatable that you can hand off to someone. And I really recommend finding a good VA who's going to do a good job and stick around for a long time because there's so many people who hire and fire VAs like then anything and that's not useful. So you wanna make sure that you're starting to outsource things that will allow you to spend more time on the pieces that are gonna grow the company. Now, in addition, a lot of times when you're getting to multiple six figures, in my case anyways, I had to hire more team. I helped people um, jump onto my team to help me with delivery. Sometimes people would help me with the sales aspect. Starting to build out the team allowed me to get to multiple six figures and then also to seven figures. Basically, getting to six figures is a lot about learning a skill set and working hard. 
Getting to seven figures is a lot about learning how to manage and build a team and actually create that vision. Also, obviously it includes learning how to have bigger traction channels, grow your audience quicker, have more sales opportunities. It's a higher volume game, but it's not just you doing it. So you're able to outsource it to different types of people and that allows you to grow and scale it. So that is how we went from eight years ago, just starting to being able to almost be at $4 million in online sales. If you got any questions, comment them down below.